Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzill in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressions Dirt Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have just tried to um, create a landscape with the sky by tipping the canvas. And I have some leftover paint. And I have paint left over from the um, day before yesterday also that I put into this container. And then I added some more paint to it to try and make sure that it would come back to life. And it seems to have worked, but I'll let you know when the time comes because I have this 10 by 20 inch canvas in front of me. That iPod case is going in the bucket. I'm wiping off my spatula. I'm gonna put this paint aside for just a moment. And I'm gonna do this a little differently than the last one I did. As in, I like the idea of having some white paint. That's the metallic white. I, have, I like the idea of having some, I don't know why I did it on both sides, but it doesn't matter. It's really hot out here. I have a very limited amount of time. My glasses are right there, which is very convenient at the moment. I am going to try and lift up that edge catcher that might be stuck down. Use the clean side on it. Tip my paint back and forth. No, I'm not. I'm just going to swipe it into place. And hopefully be able to use it as a catalyst for whatever I add next, which should be, in theory, land along the bottom and sky along the top. I don't really care if it's over the edge because I kind of expect it to go over the edge anyway. I'm going to just smooth it into place, even though it's not going to be a big layer. If I'm fast enough, it'll be wet enough to help me flow paint, and that's all that's important. Because paint flows to paint, and wet paint is the catalyst, especially white or black the catalyst for other paint colors to um, create cells and to flow more easily. And that is something that does not belong. This spatula is an OXO omelet turning spatula, best paint spreading spatula around. It's on the Amazon link in blue under Show More underneath the video along with everything else on my Amazon page, which is all, of course, cool. So, now, I just realized that my one problem is <laughs> that all of this paint that I want to add to the center for my land mass is in a dustpan that's almost as wide as the canvas, so I can't put it on at the angle I wanted to, which I wanted to be this way, horizontal, and instead it looks like it's going to be vertical. But that is going in the bucket. This, this should, with any luck at all, remind us a lot of what picture Jasper looks like. If you know what that is, that's great. And I am going to go ahead. That might have been a lot too much orange, but I don't really care at this point. I'm just experimenting while I can. And I want a bunch of paint that's somewhat equal to the other one. Whoops, that was not an intention. <laughs> ah, okay. So I'm going to pour it the wrong way first. Remove that thing that does not belong. And the sky, being not mixed like the bottom, doesn't matter because I will go in there with a spatula and mix it up. So I'm going to move some of the paints I have in my way and a few of the other things that are in my way before I tip. And let's go the wrong way first. Actually, I'm going to go down so that I can get to the bottom. And then I'm going to go back after tipping that edge catcher. I don't want that at the top. Son of a gun. Okay, it's a good thing I brought a bunch of edge catchers out with me today. So, have some more to rotate. And I'm gonna go that way. And my sky's gonna have to get swiped up, obviously. I'm just edge catching all over the place. And we'll continue to do so. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to grab, if I have one, the OXO omelet turning spatula. Not the water. Son of a gun. Okay. I'm going to grab that paint that came from the bottom. Put it right in there. Wipe off my spatula, hopefully. Put those colors from the sky in there. <laughs> I'm just all over the place. I'm going to take this other color 
from the bottom off my edge catcher also. That way they'll recover more quickly and I can use them again, hopefully. And I am going to town. If I need more colors, I will use them. I've been looking forward to playing fast and loose with paint for a while. I want some more of this. come down this way. And what else? When that goes back again, it ought to be more interesting. I want some darker purple there on this end. I thought it would be enough, but it doesn't matter that it isn't because once I hit once it hits the edge catcher, it's coming it's getting tipped back into the artwork again anyway. And I don't mind letting the sky run. This is all a good experiment for me. I'm happy with this. I see a lump in my sky. I'm going to try and ignore it. <laughs> I'm going to let my land mass run until it becomes the mountain range of my dreams. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but it is going to create some uh, interesting looking areas, I think. I'm going to squeeze that over and probably grab a Princeton art tool and put the rest of that paint right in there. And maybe mess around a little bit. I thought I might use some more copper, but it doesn't look like I really need to. But I do want to do something with that sky right now. I don't want any more water in there though, so I'm going to wipe that off. Let me see what this looks like for a second. It looks like I could use a little bit of paint from anywhere on my bottom edge. And now that's covered. And the other side is covered. And this is Accidental Landscape 101. Let's go sideways. Throw my spatula. It's in the bucket so I don't find them later. Let that paint run right over the edge. I'm going to wipe that off because that is just plenty of paint and then some. Yeah, we have a pink sky. Never mind. I'm all good with that at this point. Hey, I have so much paint over there that I wiped off that I can actually come back again and finish off my top edge, which is fine. I have not torched. I'm about to. I'm going to wash my hands off for a moment. I think I want to look at that again. I could actually put a white cloud in there. I don't mind the different striations in the sky. I am wondering a little bit about that. Oh, there's the yellow I was hoping for. Cool. If I want to uh, separate out that part of the land mass, I'm going to have to do something about that. Maybe that's the something I did, I meant to do about it. We are going to be popping some cells, I have a feeling, at least in the sky and probably everywhere. Now, the question is should I put a little sun in there? And the other question is what is all that white doing there? But that's okay, because it's going to turn green, just like in my last one that was a mistake. Don't ask me what that was, but that's cool. I'm going to give the, uh, give the plain areas a little bit of texture, just by running my basting brush through. And that does not bother me. I'm going to use my basting brush to put up, push up that uh, horizon line. And I'm pretty sure it's going to relax right down again. I'm not sure what to do about that white. It could be a tomorrow fix. Just using the very tips of my bristles. I think what I'm going to do is put a little tiny sun in there. If I can get some paint. <gasps> not what I had in mind. 
okay, it's not tiny <laughs> at all. What am I going to do about that? Take some away? Okay, well, that was unexpected. Let me grab a skewer. It's got a little more texture. Suns go than some I want. I'd want to have as my son, but uh, I think if I grab a tiny bit, please only be a tiny bit. <laughs> All right, it is what it is, and I'm going to be okay with it. That was a bit of a shock. And I can continue to play with my hillside, which is okay with me. I could put a line of demarcation in there. I keep saying that and then not doing it. Let's just figure that's all reflection from the sunset. Let's not go too much more crazy because if we keep messing with it, I'm talking to myself now, we might not be happy with our results. And uh, I'm pretty happy with my results. I have a torch. I'm going to use it. i got five minutes left. The torch to release the bubbles in the paint from mixing them with pouring mediums. In my case, the recipe is underneath the video. Under Show More, you can find the Amazon link there and the paint pouring recipe and Pinterest and Instagram links. And if you go to my Pinterest boards, you're going to find years and years and years worth of... Uh, my top picks for artwork that I posted as the products that they are now on the boards. So if you're looking for anything from Fine Art America or Pixels.com on my Facebook page is by the Shop More button, um, you'll find the products associated with them by going to follow the Pinterest link, which will also lead you right back to Fine Art America again. I do sell my artwork. I do give lessons at the house in Spring Hill in the studio where it's nice and cool, unlike this outside today. I'm going to try and keep my fingers and my tools out of this right now because I don't think that that's going to help me once the paint is glopped up. I say that and then I see a spot that I have to fix and if you've got to do that, just add the paint right to it. Don't stick your finger in it. There we go. That's better. That was just a little piece of naked canvas. So that's pretty cool and I'm not unhappy with that at all and now I've got to remember what else I'm going to try and tell you, which is... Um, there are probably 70,000 of you by now, and thank you very much for all the contributions in the past that have kept me painting. I really, really appreciate having this for a job. It's, uh, it's hard work, but it's worthwhile. You guys give me great, great confidence and great compliments, and uh, I seem to be very helpful to a whole lot of people, and that makes me feel really good. Thank you very much for that. I know, I said I wouldn't, and then I am. Don't do this. <laughs> Don't do what I do. <laughs> do what I say. Don't do what I do. Right. Yeah, that's going to work. Anyway, I'm looking for anything that's missing on the edges where I didn't use the torch. And there are a couple spots that I fixed. Otherwise, um, so I told you about the Amazon link. I told you about Pinterest and Instagram. I told you about Shop Now on my Facebook pages. Ah, there's uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group where students go to share their stuff and to ask me questions, and I drop in there often. And uh, there's Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors where one day, someday... <laughs> I will complete the Facebook albums, volumes one, two, and three, that hold on to the wet and dry artworks from YouTube. Um, my book is called Because I Can. It's on the Amazon link, and it is the first, it's the processes and methods that I created the first hundred videos for YouTube with. I think that's it. I think I'm good. I love you guys. I said that before. I'll say it again. Take care. I'm not done playing with landscapes. They do remind me of Picture Jasper. Um, I think I'm just going to keep getting more and more abstract. I just want to poke that over there. Why do I want to do that? I don't know. I probably shouldn't have. Never mind. <laughs> it's hot. I'm brain dead. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Going. Can I zoom in for you? I can. Now, in the last 20 seconds of the video, which I failed to mention, there's there are end screens with my website, a place to subscribe, the prize list, that's usually, that usually is attached to an exhibition video and um, over 700 videos. And if you want to help me out, I really need the uh, thumbs up 
and for you to watch as much of the video as possible, including the commercials, if you wouldn't mind, pretty please, because it tells the YouTube algorithm where, or or that you would, that you think I'm good, and that they should post more of my videos in more places where more people can find them, and that helps me in turn keep doing this for you guys, who I love very much with all my heart, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs> I love you. Bye.